afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon all. Um, as promised, I am back with another Get Yourself Together First conversation. Um, one of the things I want to do is make sure that the conversations I have um, do something for at least one person viewing. And so in this season of post-pandemic, still pandemic, still locked in, still being afraid of um, even going out. I want to talk about employment, especially now that a lot of unemployment insurance is now cut off. I want to talk about employment. Like, how do we get back to a place where we're at least financially stable? I'm not even going to say financially secure, but um, it's time to get yourself together and to think about yourself. Because obviously, um, the government is cutting off a lot of the free benefits that have been out there. So since I have some information, I wanted to come on and to share to hopefully help you to get yourself together in this way. Um, you may ask what qualifies me as um, being someone who is able to give this type of advice. So... I would overall say experience and um, struggle in the job market myself, but what actually um, qualifies me is of late, I am a mentor um, through Catholic Charities. I mentor women returning home from incarceration, so I often give um, employment advice to them. I have um, spoken on panels for CSOSA, which is DC Court Services and Offender, um, Services Association. I have done video conferences with women in the halfway house and no, this isn't about just people in prison. I have spoken at Catholic charities to people who are um, struggling with finding employment. And I was recently um, in the HR department for IT government contractor for quite some time. So I have seen a lot of things with people of all different age brackets, backgrounds, etc. Um, one of the things I want to bring to your, um, want you to think about is what professions actually survived the pandemic? IT, HR, healthcare, and mortuary science. IT because everything had to run virtually, right? Like they, and everything had to stay secure. HR because um, they had somebody had to stay in contact with company people. Firing, hiring, um, benefits, FMLA, things of that sort. Um, healthcare, obviously, mortuary science, people were dying. So these are the things that um, survived um, HR, I mean, survived the pandemic. So I wanted to um, just raise your awareness if you're thinking about a career change or something for your children or your grandchildren or um, some professions to advise people to get into. Um, those are four that I will highly recommend. Uh, personally, my official title, I am a certified scrum master and that's kind of like project management and IT, but, um, a lot of companies, business processes are moving over to what we call the agile process of scrum. It's not as hard as it sounds. Look it up, do some research, look at some YouTube videos about it. Um, I guarantee it is, um, Something that you probably can do. If you can organize a birthday party, I know I'm making it as simplistic as possible, um, and get the details and the details of a cake, the details of a potato salad, you can follow a recipe and you can do multiple things in the kitchen. If you can cook a Thanksgiving dinner and invite people and clean up afterwards, I guarantee you can be a scrum master because that takes a lot of multitasking, strategy, pointing people in the right direction, telling people what to do, follow-ups, um, and figuring things out. So um, that is what I do. Another thing I want to talk about is staying relevant in the job market. Uh, one of the things I taught at um, Catholic Charities was about strategic ways to find employment. So we know LinkedIn. Then we know, well, some people know LinkedIn. Indeed, we know, you know, the usual job boards, career builder, however you look for a job, uh, Glassdoor, the usual ways. 
of applying for a job. But if everybody is applying that way, it puts you in a pool, right? It puts you in a pool and how are you going to compete? I don't care. At this point, it doesn't matter who has a degree, who doesn't. It doesn't matter what experience you have, who did, who doesn't. There are certain things that do matter, like certifications matter a lot in the job. What type of cert do you have? And I can talk to you a little bit more about that. Um, and, and the short version of that is, if you get in on a, a contract, a government contract, the more certs a company have, or more individuals in a company that have certs, they get to bid on different types of contracts and they become more valuable to the government. So you become a value to your company the more certs you have, the type of certs they're looking for, the type of company they are, if they're healthcare, if they're IT. So those are things to look at. The cert is not just about the degree. It may take a degree to get you in the door. I'm not going to lie and tell you that it doesn't, but it may not. They may just need to see those certs on your resume. So that's something to think about. And trust me, I know the more certs you have, the more you get paid. I worked in HR. Trust me, I've seen it. Um, another thing, um, stay relevant. So LinkedIn, a lot of companies, a lot of government agencies give away money for training, right? LinkedIn has a platform that costs you $240 a year. And when I tell you that, it is worth triple that. But the good part is, A, you can file it on your taxes <laughs> as uh, training dollars towards um, what you do. But whether you're looking to learn grant writing or whether you're looking to learn um, something as simple as Excel, if you're looking to build pivot tables, charts, if you're looking to get into IT, if you're looking into, I don't know, doing something different in Word or Microsoft Outlook, anything you're looking for almost you can find on the LinkedIn platform. When I got to my current employer, one of the higher up stakeholders were was looking for somebody who knew a program called Tableau. I do not have or did not have Tableau experience. I was able to go on LinkedIn, take a few courses, and become ramped up in a matter of a day or two to be able to provide that. How much more valuable you think you would think that you are to the company and stakeholders if you had a platform where you could easily grab classes. And I'm talking about one-hour classes, two-hour classes. Um, and because you have access to the total platform, you're able to take all kinds of classes. And when you finish these courses, they attach to your LinkedIn um, profile. If you kind of want to see what that looks like, you can look on my LinkedIn profile. Again, my name is Javeda Smith. Um, and you can find me on LinkedIn and you can see that kind of thing. So that is something um, that I would recommend anybody to do. I don't care how high up or low down you are. Um, people high up in the government have to learn new programs at the drop of a hat, depending on whatever requirements come up, right? So I would highly advise anybody to get a LinkedIn learning profile. Um, another thing, so some people who have been through marital counseling, who have had mental health issues, whether serious or whether minute, no matter what they look like. You may have had it in a prison. You may have had it because you had a drug addiction in the past and you used according to your feelings. You may have had it because you were just going through something at some point in like COVID might have sent you to a mental health specialist. Why am I bringing this up? Because the OPM, which is the Office of Personal Management, has a special provision called Schedule A. You can look it up. Schedule A Disability. What is that? Well, one thing, one part of it, um, of course, disabled vets can use it. But someone with a simple therapist, if your therapist have diagnosed you with something like depression, bipolar, um, PTSD, um, any, any type of, there, there's lists that you can go on and look. You can get your therapist to write you a Schedule A letter. 
you will attach that Schedule A letter to your USA Jobs profile. What is USA Jobs? That's where the platform you have to go on to apply for any federal job whatsoever. Whatsoever you have to apply for. Um, when you attach that, Schedule A preference boosts you up above some people that have been in the government for years. Some people with more qualifications, with higher degrees. There's a Schedule A provision and the departments and the divisions are compelled to hire people under the Schedule A um, blocks. I have seen Schedule A jobs that pay up to 200 and something thousand dollars a year and that have paid as low as $57,000 a year. I would advise anybody to look into Schedule A and in turn go on, I, I would advise anybody to look into Schedule A and then in turn go on USA Jobs and look at all of the Schedule A jobs that are out there that are available. Attach, get this letter from your therapist, attach it to your profile. It is not as hard as I may sound like it is, but it is actually not that hard. Um, the last thing I want to throw in your ear about strategic job finding is this. Um, so, you know how Facebook, okay, yeah, we're all on Facebook or Instagram. It feeds you the friends of your friends. Well, LinkedIn does the exact same thing. So, imagine you became your boss's friend or you became the friend of a, somebody at a temp agency. Well, all of their friends are recruiters, HR people, CEOs, and COOs. So now you become their friends. So when you become their friends, instead of sliding in people's DM, <laughs> instead of sliding in people's DM saying crazy stuff on LinkedIn, you will simply send your resume and say, hey, if you have something in whatever the profession that you're looking into, if you have something available, would you please consider me? Or whatever your blurb is. Mine, um, that's how I found um, the job I had before um, the one I have now. Um, this job actually found my profile on LinkedIn. But the job I had prior to this where I first got into the IT field, um, I sent a blurb through LinkedIn and said, hey, I have over 25 years of administra executive administrative um assistant background, I, I told him how much I typed a minute, all, what all kind, supporting C-level executives, told them all the different things I did, and that's how I got that job. They pulled my resume from a quote-unquote DM on LinkedIn. That is the kind of drive that people need to see in the job market um, instead of just waiting for headhunters, right? Um so I just wanted to come on here and give you some information um, about getting yourself together first, getting yourself together, and about strategies and ways of finding um, employment. And I hope that some of this information can help someone. If you um, know somebody that it can help, that sh please share, share, share. If they're not on Facebook, I will be uploading this on um, my YouTube channel which is Javada Smith. You can subscribe to that. I will also be uploading it on IG. So you all have a wonderful day and I will be back with more topics for Get Yourself Together First. You all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.